Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create Salesforce contacts for new WordPress users, which means that every time you create a new user in your WordPress account, you want that it should be used as to create a contact in your Salesforce as well. So we can create an automation for this whole process with the help of Pabli Connect, where our trigger will be the new user created in WordPress and our action will be the same contact created in Salesforce. Let us learn how to do it. So we will integrate Salesforce and WordPress in such a way that whenever a new user is registered in WordPress, then a new contact will be added to Salesforce. We will be doing this with the help of Pabli. Let's just quickly sign into our account by logging in into Google. And then we will reach this page where I will select my application of the day that is Pabli Connect. Click on access now. And as soon as you reach on the dashboard of Pabli Connect, you have to click on the big blue button on your right. That's create a workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. So I'm going to give it as create Salesforce contacts from new user created in WordPress. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you where you can see two windows with trigger and action written over it. Now this trigger is an event that is going to take place in your first chosen application, which we are going to do manually, which means that whatever you're going to choose the application over here, like for our automation today, our trigger application is WordPress. So we are going to create a user in WordPress. So that is our trigger. And the thing that is going to take place automatically, that is our action, which is creation of a contact in Salesforce is going to be our action. So when this happens, which means when a user is created, then do this. A contact is created or create a contact. So let us choose our trigger as WordPress. And the event will be, let's just type user registers. Whenever a user registers, this trigger will work. Now they will provide you a webhook URL like this, which will be used to establish a connection between web Pabli Connect and your WordPress or any trigger application. So you have to follow these given instructions in order to use this webhook URL. So let us visit our website of WordPress. Then you have to go to plugins that is available on your left side panel. Then go to add new. When you click on add new, a new window will appear in front of you. Give it some time. WordPress usually takes a little more time. And then in this keyword section, what you're supposed to type, you're supposed to type WP webhooks. So let us type WP webhooks. See, it's right here. Now you can see that what it is written over here, active, which means this is already installed and you don't need to install it again. This is situation for my system, but you have to install it first and then only you will be able to use this webhook URL. After that, we go to settings over here and WP webhooks. Settings is actually under plugins only. When you reach here, you have to go to send data that's over here in your menu. And that will take you to, through the section where you are going to create a new webhook. Okay. So after this, when you have reached send data, you have to select user created from the left sidebar. So in this left sidebar, you can see there are many triggers. So you have to choose user created. Okay. So all these webhooks are for user created only. Now you will click on add webhook URL, name it. I'm going to name it as Salesforce contact. Okay. And in this section of URL, you have to copy it from here and then go back to paste it right here. Click on add for create user. When you're done till this, which means that new webhook has been created. Okay. So now this is done. And now our Pabli Connect is waiting for a response from WordPress. So we will go to WordPress to create a new user so that it is detected by our Pabli Connect workflow. So let us click on this new button and come down to user right here and then fill in the fields to create a new user like a username is required. So I'm giving it a name as this is my username. Then any email is required. So this is my email address. And then the first name is this. Second name is this a website. So for now I am keeping my website as pabli.com. If you want to generate a new password, it will generate it for you. You can choose what is going to be the role of the user you're going to create and just click on add new user. Once you do this, you will be receiving a response in your Pabli Connect workflow. So let us see 
once this website is loaded and it appears to us that a user has been created like it says right now new user created here you will be having a response so this is the response that we have received which means that our trigger has worked successfully now it's the time to transfer this information which we have received over here the username the separated name and then the role as the customer when the date the time that's created the url that we provided the email address so basically all the details are here now it is the time to choose our action application so our action application is salesforce and we are going to choose the event to create a new contact like it's given over here so we will use the information that we have received over here in public connect workflow to create a new contact click on connect add new connection and connect with salesforce you just have to provide access to pabli connect and therefore it will be connected do not worry pabli connect is 100% safe now so many empty fields have appeared in front of you you have to fill in the fields using the data that you have received over here and the process is called mapping now what is mapping mapping is actually using the data of the previous step to fill in the details of the action application like over here you can see last name first name is given if you fill it right now on your own then every time it will appear as the same only no new data will be entered so you are going to map it from here which means that once a new user registered over here so the information will be here like this is the username for us right now if two days later some other person enters some other username so whatever is going to be the value over here in data user nice name in this section will appear in any of this section over here exactly so this is basically to decide the correct destination when you click on any empty field it will ask you to insert data from the previous step then it will provide you this drop down menu from which you can choose what data you want to enter so this is the list of all the responses over here either you can scroll and find your chosen value or you can just type it over here like our last name was this so you just typed it in the search and map data field and you got the answer so our first name was this so you can choose the first name like this now we did not enter any address you can come down and find the area of email yes we entered an email so just type at the rate and here is the email any title so in the title section you can give it as customer so type customer over here and this is the role that you're giving as a title okay so all these are here in description you can enter the username also so just write username colon and give it a space and then write the username here okay this is done now when you click on save and send test request a response is going to be received by pabli connect that our work has been done or not like it says success and one is the value of the success which means a contact has been created in salesforce first of all save your workflow right here and then go to salesforce to check if a new contact has been created so go to contacts in your salesforce application and see the newly created contact this is the contact if you click on this contact it will appear that it was created by pabli connect because we created it using the workflow the description has the username the title the name and the email address these were the information that we entered which means that our workflow has been a success let us do a quick recap of the whole workflow our trigger application was wordpress and the event was user registers which means as soon as a new user registers a response will be received with the help of this webhook url okay now this response will be useful because it will be used to create a contact in salesforce with this process we learned a new process called mapping that is very much necessary to create this workflow clicked on save and send test request and then we received this response and a new user was or a new contact was created over here so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pabli connect if you have any issue regarding pabli you can email us at support@pabli.com you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to to our channel thank you